hello guys welcome back to m davies vlogs yes guys welcome back to the channel my name is marilia and i upload videos about travel vlogs especially to jamaica i travel to jamaica very often and i upload videos about jamaica things to do you know a little bit about construction a little bit of everything about jamaica for an expat for somebody you know that is back and forth or thinking of migrating to Jamaica, thinking of building something in, in Jamaica or thinking of just going to Jamaica and on holiday, holiday makers. Yes, I create content about Jamaica, I create content about travel vlog to other countries and about luxury fashion. Please subscribe and stay tuned. Without further ado, in today's video, I'm going to be packing a few barrels to Jamaica. Every time I go to Jamaica, I ship barrels to Jamaica. I put all sorts of content in these barrels that I need for Jamaica, including food, household items, absolutely everything. Everything that is you can ship to Jamaica and is legal to do so because we don't do anything illegal over here. So yeah, anything that is legal to ship to Jamaica, I do from bedding to food to electrical items, absolutely everything. You know why? Because things in Jamaica are really, really expensive really really expensive compared to england and if you have the opportunity to buy things here which is cheaper and send it over which is not a complicated thing to do anyways when you're shipping over things over to jamaica so guys this is the first barrel that i packed i've already put some content in there i'm going to show you what i've put because i start packing and then my husband suggested that i do this video because it might help somebody you know, you, you can pack, I can pack a barrel, <laughs> if I do say so myself. Even the shipping guy, this, the guy from the shipping company, he always tells me <coughs> to pack my barrels really good. <coughs> Managed to squeeze loads in there. So I'm going to show you what's at the bottom, and then we take it from there, and then I start I'll pack a fresh one with you guys as well. So let's do this. I use this a lot when I'm shipping stuff to Jamaica. Avoid putting any food in that one because it's got too many cleaning products in. This giant tumbling towel for us to play in the summer, just things to do. Yeah. One second, take this out. You're gonna see how much I managed to fit in here. And it's so, listen, you save so much money doing this. I, I'm talking from experience. I don't know about anyone else, but I'm speaking from experience. Shipping things to Jamaica, you save money. That's why the service is there and they make it easy for people to ship things to Jamaica. Yeah, you're going to wait at the wharf. I've personally never been to the wharf myself. So I'm not going to, I don't know, but I've heard stories. Only pack the barrel, my barrel and... And that's it. I don't want to get up. You know, so I know the weight can be crazy. And when my husband goes and pick it up or we get delivered or you know. There's ways of getting your barrel without having to go. There. So I put that in there. Space and try to see if I'm not squeezing anything too much. So now I can put this back in this corner. This back. Yeah. 
in the middle here. Perfect. This there in the corner. Guys, I'm gonna go for a bag. I've got food in here. I'm gonna go for a bag next next door in the other room. I'm coming back. So yeah, guys, here I'm just packing. In this bar I'm gonna put mainly household items. These cost like six pounds, five or six pounds form from Costco. What this from Costco? It's 150. Bin liners, pedal pedal bins, and there's loads in here. So I send this. It lasts forever. No. Number one. Put it at the top. Put these little thingy bobs here. This is what I put them off. Once they start seeing all these small little things in the bags, in the box. They don't want to look at the box again. Why don't I want to throw this in the corner? Put some tissue, put this from Costco. Mm -hmm. And I love tape. Yes guys, I sent toilet paper to Jamaica. I know, believe it or not, those who pack barrels to send to Jamaica will know about this. I bought this from Costco. Um, I like to send toilet paper to Jamaica because our toilet paper here is better quality but they have good quality toilet paper in Jamaica we have good quality toilet paper in Jamaica however it's much more expensive if you go for the cheaper one is really really not good quality you know I use one in, in you know on one toilet two toilet trips if I buy the cheaper one so this one is definitely worth it you pay I paid like 15 pounds 17 pounds for this in Costco and yeah I bought about three or four packs it's got 240 rolls 240 rolls 240 sheets and 40 rolls for 15 pounds i know i'm gonna save some money you know the kids will toilet a lot during the summer and they don't charge you a lot of costume for these things when you're shipping household items they don't really charge you a lot you bring in a car to jamaica yeah you're gonna pay an hour and a leg but household items they don't usually charge you a lot. That's why I take these. It's worth taking them. For me, it's cost effective. Some people think it's not cost effective. The trouble at the wharf, the process to get your, your barrels and that is, is long. It is long because obviously you're shipping something overseas. And Jamaica is not the worst country to ship things to. If you ask me, it's one of the easiest from my experience in terms of shipping things overseas so i put lots of toilet paper <laughs> paper at the top yeah because when they ship in the barrel they see toilet paper they probably not expecting to find anything good in a barrel full of toilet paper so i put my toilet paper on the top guys this is just the first barrel i'm gonna do two with you guys because i don't want to make this video too long yeah spent 15 pounds no 17.99 I think or 18 pounds under 20 pounds let's just say I don't remember on these and they'll last me long in Jamaica yes guys I noticed that there was a little gap so I'm gonna put the Rabina in there dilutable my kids love it there's lots of drinks in Jamaica and we love buying drinks in Jamaica but things in Jamaica are expensive when you compare to the UK I paid 3 99 for this from Costco and this will go a long way with ice and nice cold water make squash dilutable why not it will last long you know they love the big and everything we love all the Jamaican drinks we drink them when we're there but you know we are spending quite a while in Jamaica we're spending the, the summer in Jamaica we are so in, you know two months summer holiday when the kids are in Britain during the summer holidays, they do eat a lot. Imagine on holiday. Imagine that. You know that they're going to be eating triple the amount that they eat in the UK. So, there's no shame in my game of packing barrels to take to Jamaica. I do that all the time. Every summer for the last three years. 
three years I've been packing bars to go to Jamaica. Sometimes I send things to Jamaica twice, three times in one year. And there's no shame in my game. You're allowed to do so. They do it for a reason. It brings money to the country because after you pay all those fees and customs and all of that. And it's worth it. Even after you pay the fee, I'm saving. In this bar alone, if I were to buy this in Jamaica, I would be paying a lot of money. I'm saving. I'm talking from my experience, the things that I like, the quality of the stuff that I like. I would be spending a lot of money. So, yeah. I'm nearly finished that. Guys, I'm nearly finished with the toilet paper. Don't forget, I've got the most expensive thing, which is the plate at the bottom. And what else do I have there that's a bit pricey? Mackay scooter and uh, whatever else you saw me packing. So, paint in, in rapid true value, the type of paint that I like, is not cheap. I put you a thing of paint in Jamaica is not cheap. And I'm talking from experience. Maybe it's cheap for some people, but for me it ain't cheap. And when I'm buying paint, I need a lot of paint. So, this is one barrel. Let me show you what else I put on top of there. One sec. Guys, kitchen roll. Kitchen roll in Jamaica finishes like crazy so i'm taking a lot of kitchen roll all these items are for personal use as well for us not for business well we don't sell any of these items just for the record on top of this the guy's gonna close i don't close my barrels the guy does i've got put in the corners a few things of the good old baked beans they sell baked beans in Jamaica, don't be alarmed. <laughs> but as I said to you, this is a way that I save money in the summer. I share some of my stuff as well. You know, I don't keep everything for myself. I've got people in Jamaica too. Makaya, stop that please. Stop that on the other side. Okay. Okay. Last warning, guys. I'm gonna send you outside. Okay. And then break beans in here. See, the guy's gonna squeeze this and close. It's not full yet. Take some chicken stocks. My kids love ramen noodles and cut noodles as well in Jamaica. The one thing I don't take from the UK is noodles. Believe it or not. But they love the noodles in Jamaica so what I do take these they cook the noodles properly they put it in a pot and cook one thing my kids love cooked food so they won't just put hot water in the noodles and no they put a little bit of this water the flavor from the chicken uh, that comes in the ramen noodles or the pot noodles in uh, the cup noodles in Jamaica and they put chicken stock because they add water and let it boil so this can go on top here in the corner once they see these things they're not expecting to see nothing else at the bottom nothing you know too expensive at the bottom um corn guys got this from um little i we don't eat sardine but i'm taking sardine for my people I don't like sardine, I'm not a sardine person. But my people in Ja love sardine. Yes, me too. I love it. 
second barrel now probably look all sweaty try and pack your barrels in the closest room to the front door or if you have a door in your back garden then you can do it in your back garden and then you just go through the back garden I wiped my barrels before they came in here as well I can't wipe them for me all the dust and everything off because <laughs> yes we are clean over here so I'm gonna start this one from scratch another bucket of paint let me tell you, if you know, you know, paint, good paint, good quality paint in Jamaica is expensive, paint, not cheap. And if somebody tells you paint is cheap in Jamaica, they'll be lying. Or they've never bought the amount of paint that I usually purchase. So, yes, yeah, so this one, I'm going to do another barrel of like household stuff and then I'll do another one with food. But I'll fast forward some of these bits in these videos, you know, when I'm packing and then stop to show you certain things as well. Put in this, I need this mat. These are specific stuff that I need as well, some of these stuff. But I wouldn't necessarily find them in Jamaica easily. There's another thing. It's so hard to find certain stuff in Jamaica. Come this way, Mary, please. Um, it's really, really hard. And some of these stuff are really expensive. Good quality bedding in Jamaica is not cheap. Good quality curtains in Jamaica is not cheap. Trust me. And good quality furniture. Huh? Ashley furniture is so, so expensive. So I ship furniture to Jamaica as well. Ship some more furniture to Jamaica. Uh, unless you're getting people to make you furniture from scratch, which it can be expensive and is hard to find modern styles as well and then you're gonna have to source the material and stuff like that which is sometimes it's more uh, work if you're getting people if you're having things made in jamaica i've had things made in jamaica some processes are easier than others so i do both make things in jamaica and plus ship things in jamaica, to jamaica too another thing of paint i need two of these Lich. Good old bleach for the toilet. Sunday and Wednesday. Washing up liquid from Costco, five pounds.
then do the other two off camera oh, oh. because I'm getting tired as well. So I'll carry on tomorrow. So now I'm going to do um, the food barrel. I'm going to show you. I've got something at the bottom as well. I've got some paint and stuff at the bottom. Uh, but I don't put cleaning products with food. If it's tin stuff, yes. And you see the crisp as well? It goes right on top, far, far away from um, all the cleaning products at the bottom. There's tissue, layers and layers of tissue, and the crisp goes on top. So usually I don't, I don't mix food with cleaning products or any household products. Right. For me, I know my kids are gonna enjoy. This is for no, the summer, no, 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 so they go with a absolutely nothing jam. This is gonna be a long vlog. Should I make this vlog one hour? I think I will. It's gonna be my first one hour vlog. Uh huh. Gonna make this vlog an hour long. Jam, jam. I'm a mummy, so I enjoy doing all of these. And then when it gets to Jamaica, I have people to help me on the pack. Okay. Big oil. So I can pop it. Cut some bubble wrap. So I can pop it. Cut some bubble wrap. Alright, Rina, taking about five of these. That's me, they're going to finish it. When these people are drinking water in the heat. Yeah. Oh yeah, Jacket! Yeah, I'm not going to Guys, I think I need like seven barrels. Not a joke. It's always like this. Always a biscuit. That's good. Change my battery more, in the camera. More, more in the it's all dark now. I'm sure it's literally making crackers. Smush, smushy. Oh no, my bubble wrap. Three of them. Yes. Those are snacks. That's what? Guys, get all these like the garlic, I like garlic powder. Ground is cinnamon, some oregano. Just throw them in the pieces. This one's that hard to break. Don't break so easy. Pour up them. It's not like toiletry stuff like creams and so on and so forth. I'm only doing food. Cheese. 
I've been shopping for a period of time to mix. One of my visitors this year requested weird a bit. She said to buy the Audi one. So I did. I like that. It's milk. It's full of milk. Cocoa Pops. Cocoa Madam Makaya. I like the one. I've got this for my kitchen. I'm going to put all the sauces in. Can I see? Can I see? Oh, really? What's in the box? Anyways, thinking hot chocolate. Um, I like Milo as well, so I buy Milo from Jamaica. These are all household stuff. All of that jazz. <sighs> God, I've got more food in the kitchen. Guys, I cannot do everything on camera. I'm going to take a few days in fact. All the sweets and that. Guys, I'm having loads and loads of visitors. So, I'm just here to take my kids. So, if you have kids, and that shop is like a school. This is like the summer, you know, in the summer, we're still the six weeks holiday. We spend a lot of money on food in the UK generally. So this is my six-week holiday shopping. All in one go. Still have all of that to pack, guys. All of that plus stuff in the other room. Wish me luck. <laughs> I still have all of this to pack as well. I haven't put in the air fryer. And I've only got two barrels left. So yeah, this is the food barrel. I'm gonna give you a close up. 